Well, today I am meeting someone who started a career at the age of 19 as a model, moving on to South Indian film industry. And today she is working with all the Bollywood A-listers. She is an avid golfer and a health freak and undoubtedly has got the prettiest eyes. On this episode of Sunday Brunch with Zomato, I am meeting Rakul Preet Singh. <laughs> Thank you and so happy to have you on Sunday Brunch. Likewise. So how's it going Rakul? Uh, still in the cocoon due to the pandemic or back to the glitzy life? <laughs> um, well, I, I just think we have to make do with the situation and we can't really live in a cocoon. We yeah. just have to sort of uh, be careful and take all the necessary precautions and follow the protocols and life goes on yeah so <laughs> i've been working in and out of the pandemic so honestly uh, you know just hopeful that the theater is open but otherwise everything else life's the same we'll talk about your films but before that i want to know about your journey so from what i understand you come from an army family that's right. and how was it growing up strict schedules a lot of discipline yes <laughs> i think discipline uh, becomes a way of life, uh, yeah. you know, and I owe it to my dad for uh, having whatever discipline I do have. I changed 10 schools uh, while growing up, uh, though just my final high school was from an army school. Uh, right. Otherwise, I was in convents where I were different schools. Uh, so, yeah, it's just beautiful because I think it just gives you so much exposure to different cultures, different yeah. uh, people, languages. And I heard that the heart of Delhi is a little bit difficult to get out of Delhi. But I didn't come to Delhi because I was in high school. So I didn't want to say actually, but when I was in Delhi, I was like, I didn't come to Delhi. I'm not in Delhi. I'm in Delhi. I'm in Delhi. I'm in Delhi. Okay. But you've spent a lot of years now in South because of your films. Yeah. Of course, here as well in Mumbai because of Bollywood films and Delhi. Where do you like to eat? I am a very clean eater. I do not like junk food. And that also comes from the fact that while we were growing up, we were not exposed to too much junk food. Dad was very particular that you have to have a good, nice, balanced breakfast, lunch. There was nothing that we were allowed to say no to. But otherwise, I like sushi. Oh, you like sushi? Okay. But today, we have a very healthy and nutritious food. Time is to like keep checking menus of healthy restaurants. Really? Yeah. Well, so since you love healthy food, we've got some honestly healthy food from Shante Spark Cuisine, which is based out of Khar. So. I know of it. This is in Hyderabad as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Pune, Hyderabad. Yeah. What I have in front of me is oven roasted salt pepper yam. Wow, looks delicious. And this is char grilled yellow squash bharta. What is it exactly? It's a kaddu ka bharta. Okay. So I make Loki ka bharta at home. Haan, matab itna unho ne fancy naam diya hai, you just made it very simple. Yeah, kaddu ka bharta. Kaddu ka bharta. So I make Loki ka bharta at home. You do? Okay. Yeah, which tastes amazing. Achha. Because I know a few people who don't like Loki. Yeah, I don't. So, everybody who doesn't like Loki, I have actually given them that and said just try, I'm going to tell you what it is after. And nobody's been able to tell, it tastes like bengan ka bharta. Wow. And since you said that you like sushi, there is spiced uramaki. Roll as oh, well. Wow. <laughs> I think I'm quite sorted for the day. I'm so excited to eat food. <laughs> Clean food just gives me a high. Like I feel so happy when I eat good, healthy, innovative recipes right. of clean food. So, even though you eat a lot of healthy food, you clearly come across as a foodie. So, we are going to play a fun game with you. I'm a full foodie, yes. Yeah, okay. It's called Eat or Meetup, just presented by Zomato. Okay. 
few questions here. Hmm. Okay. Firstly, we'd like to know what are your taste buds like. Hmm. Okay. Pav bhaji or paranthas? Paratha. Okay. Vada pav or momos? None. No. I have never eaten a proper. No, I've eaten vada pav maybe once in my life. Hmm. Just the thought of it now, I'm not going to eat it. Really? Yeah. मैदा और आलू में एक साथ अपने पेट में नहीं डाल सकता मक्के की रोटी और सरसों का सा बोथ बोथ ओके वॉट्स राकुल फेवरेट चीट मील ट्रीट मील आई डोंट कॉल आई मीन आई इट बिरयानी वेरी रेग्युलरली इफ इट्स होम मेड सो इट्स नॉट अ चीट मील दैट इज वन Um, I would see for me cheat meal is I want to eat more quantity of healthy food. Okay. Because my appetite is huge, but right. you know obviously you can't. Pet nahi pal sakte utna zada. Okay. Favorite dessert? Chocolate. Anything made with chocolate, like cakes, like that brownie. You know anything which is made with chocolates. Okay. Uh, is there any dish that you ordered or had the most in the year 2021? That just healthy pizzas that you get. Yeah. Uh, which are made on amaranth base yeah. you know loaded with uh, veggies and goodness and vegan cheese and all of that so i think that okay tell me the biggest foodie you know in the film industry mm. arjun loves food okay arjun yeah. kapoor kapoor okay yeah. okay there's one dish that you could swap between mumbai and delhi any day golgappas oh because <laughs> delhi is now that's where i'm a delhiite <laughs> because delhi is golgappas and mumbai is pani puri and it's okay. not pani puri it is supposed to be golgappas <laughs> <laughs> well knowing all the healthy food that you eat it doesn't come as a surprise that you've been quite an athlete uh, i believe you've been into golf as well as yeah. karate I mean that was when I was a kid okay. but we've always been into a lot of uh, outdoor activities or sports mm-hmm. you know while I was growing up years because it was very important for my father to make sure that we are out every day whether it's swimming it's tennis it's karate or it's um, you know skating or badminton whatever it is or golf which yeah. we took seriously um, as we were growing up every sport he's you know put us in and my mom used to say that you should be a jack of all and master of one okay so that's what she followed okay so what was your master of one then i guess golf you golf. know okay. because we really me and my brother really loved golf and we i mean i started golf when i was in 6th grade and he he was in third and you know we used to i used to play nationals in my high school wow okay and uh, then i knew that that's not something i want to do as a profession yeah. so i still social golf because i was black and white i was tanned yeah. so i i knew i wanted to start modeling okay. um so right after my 12th i started modeling and which is why i quit professional golfing right um but yeah golf is something i love in fact that's what i was coming to how did the transition really happen how did you decide to get into modeling or eventually into films as well i guess I guess destiny has a huge role to play in that. Um you know I always somewhere wanted to uh, give a try at modeling, mm. you know. Actually more than modeling I didn't know anything else but Miss India. Right. So, you know as you're growing yeah. up you only know Miss India Miss India. So you know my mom was the one who actually told me once that you're tall and confident and why don't you give it a try and at that time I was tomboyish which I still partly am. <laughs> <laughs> so I said no, you know I I I don't think I can do it and you know she just put that in my head and yeah. then I thought why not let's mm. give it a try so i started modeling after 12th mm. because that's the basic route that you know you know while while i was in delhi i was doing my mathematics graduation and uh, while i was studying i also started modeling and then from there in my final year of college i went for miss india and then after my college i moved to bombay so that's how so it was a very organic process and i think even then i gave myself Two years, and I said that if it works, great. If it yeah. doesn't, I'm going to fall back on my studies because I was a good student. Yeah, you know. So I guess things just worked out, and that's destiny. Yeah, and I believe you were still studying when you ventured into the space of modeling and yeah, entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was uh, right after my twelfth. I started, so I was a. I'm a maths graduate, so I oh. was studying in Jesus and Mary College. Yeah. Uh, while I was still working full time, literally, all the teachers used to hate me for because <laughs> the sister run college. Yeah. And yeah. they used to think, oh my God, you know, modeling, and you know, this is not. You're not going to be able to score well. But yeah. then I used to score well. <laughs> so that kept, that kept them. from still uh, liking me a little bit <laughs> yeah and and i and i believe your parents were very supportive throughout uh, your mother has been a teacher who yes. quit her job to you know yes. travel around with yes. you is yes. that true yes in fact both my parents have been very supportive um mm. 
you know, when we used to play golf, my dad used to go with us. When my brother started playing professionals, they used to go for tournaments with him and with me. And my mom used to actually at a point even help us caddy because, you know, when you're in the forces, you can't really spend thousands and thousands every day yeah. on golf, which is an expensive sport. Uh, but they always wanted us to do things that we want to do. Um, and then when I started modeling, she would travel with me. Yeah. Uh, the first four, five years of my career, even when I was working in films, yeah. till about the last three, four years, yeah. um, she used to travel with me everywhere, every shoot, uh, which is why she decided to give up her job and, you know, um, travel with me. And I think, yeah, I mean, I don't think I would have done out of the work without their support. Right. You know, we've known of so many uh, Bollywood actors who are actually from the army background, be it Priyanka Chopra, yeah. Anushka Sharma. Uh, did you have any inspiration, Rakul? Was there anybody you, who you would look up to just when you were starting off? I think when I was starting off, it was definitely Priyanka. Okay. You know, because I think she is, she's a power woman. Hmm. You know, the way she has created a name for herself globally hmm. um, and has put India on the international map when it comes to uh, you know the Indian films or just the personality that she is yeah um, very inspiring and I also was always very fond of Anushka Sharma and I still am you know right. uh, very fond of both of them actually I think she's so real and so um, relatable um, I really connect with her as well okay let's talk about travel Yes. <laughs> do you like to travel? And I, know I do. Growing up, you've traveled so much all across India. Yeah, that wasn't a choice. <laughs> we had to still pack our bags and change schools and, you know, keep traveling. Uh, but uh, I do like to travel. Yeah. Uh, and you invariably end up traveling a lot when you're shooting because, you know, you're shooting in all kinds of different places. Hmm. But when I do have the time, I do like to travel and I'm a beach person. So generally, it's the beaches. Okay. All right. Any fond memories? Have you ever done solo travel? I'm not a solo travel person. No, no. Okay. I have thought of it. I yeah. know I have a lot of friends who solo travel, but I'm not a solo travel person. You okay. know, I am. I can have one person with me and travel, <laughs> okay. but solo is too boring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And what about adventure? Do you have an adventurous streak to yourself? I love adventure. Mm. I, I I am a complete adventure freak. I have skydived. I've bungee jumped. I've scuba dived. I've ra I've done rafting. Uh, so I've done all of that. And in fact, I am take, doing a scuba instruction course soon. Just, you know, just so that this is a license. Yeah. The things to do list. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now that you tell me what all you have done, we are going to play a fun game. Okay. It's called Never Have I Ever. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the first question. Never have I ever signed a film that I knew wouldn't work. <laughs> okay. I think we all have at some point. <laughs> yeah. Sneaked into a co-star's vanity van. Why would you do that? Okay. Never have I ever had a crush on a co-star. Okay. Uh, left a shoot midway. No. No. Okay. <laughs> Praised a film without watching it. <laughs> Been late to a film set? Never. Wow. Never. Yeah, and I can vouch for it, guys. Today also, Rakul was bang on time. No, whatever I was three time minutes is. late, <laughs> and I was updating that it's the elevator that is taking three more minutes because I start panicking. So I have an OCD of time. <laughs> three minutes is not late. <laughs> for my standards, it's late. <laughs> okay. Never have I ever been drunk on a shoot. I don't drink, so. Oh, okay. Wow. Wonderfully played this game as well. Let's talk about your films then. Lots lined up in the pipeline. 2022 seems to be your year. But let's talk about the film that has actually got a very intriguing title, Chhatri Wali Condom Tester. Yeah. What is it all about? So, um, Chhatri Wali, um, in Chhatri Wali, I yeah. play a quality control head of a condom company. Okay. And um, Condom Factory rather hmm. um, and it's a very slice of life uh, family film yeah. you know uh, a story of this girl from a small town who ends up doing this job without realizing or giving importance to it actually in the beginning even she's kind of ashamed of what she's doing right. and how she comes into realizing the importance of the conversation that needs to begin in the society right. um, and then it's treated in a very light-hearted non-preachy way 
so I had a lot of fun shooting for the films. Then the other films are there's Runway 34, mm -hmm. which is with Amit Ji and uh, Ajay Sir has directed it. Okay. Um, so that comes out in April as of now. There's uh, Dr. G with okay. Ayushman, which comes out in June. There's uh, Thank God with uh, Sid okay. uh, Malhotra, which is in July. Then there's a film with Akshay Sir, which should be also around the same period. And then there's Chatli, Chatriwali. Wow, that's so, a great lineup. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for this lineup to start coming out, to be honest, right now. I am just like waiting with my energies just stored. Like, come on, come But another interesting thing which you're doing with your brother, a new app called yes. Starring You, which yes. uh, comes, comes across as a LinkedIn for everyone in the entertainment that's right. industry. That's right. So we just thought, why not bridge that gap? between mm -hmm. so many aspiring people uh, who want to be not just an actor mm -hmm. but want to have a profession in the film industry which could be in so many different roles like you know from being a director to an executive producer to a costume stylist, hairstylist you know there's just so many different positions uh, in the industry. So yeah that was our motto uh, to sort of bridge that gap to help people realize their dreams to sort of give them a platform where they can reach out to the right people. Priya, well, I'm really enjoying this conversation with you. <laughs> but I'm also keeping you away from food. No, I'm so. eating. <laughs> <laughs> Rakul, it's been wonderful chatting with you and sharing this healthy meal with you. I'm <laughs> taking notes and got a lot of tips from you. Thank you. And yes. I hope you're not getting bored with the healthy food because I was like, only healthy food. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, definitely not at all. It's all good. Yeah.